Hey, so we all know that posting to TikTok from make.com isn't really possible unless you use those third-party APIs like Airshare. And the thing is the pricing for some of these are a bit high. So this is exactly where Buffer comes in, which is a social media scheduling tool, which has a very generous free plan which lets you connect up to three channels and to schedule up to 10 posts per channel at a time. And I'm pretty sure that if you instantly post the videos, then you would have unlimited posts per month, which is pretty cool. But there's a slight issue with Buffer. The thing is that if you want to use their API, which is the thing that lets you connect it to make.com, then you can't use it because they're not supporting it anymore. But they still do support it from Zapier. So basically, using Buffer, you can't post directly to TikTok from make.com, but you can post um, to TikTok from Zapier. So yeah, in this video, I'm going to show you how I worked around this to post to TikTok from make.com completely for free. Okay, so first of all, this is my make.com scenario. Um, at the trigger, I have a Google Drive module that just gets this video file from a folder I have and sends it to a Google Sheet. In this case, um, everything before this Google Sheet can be whatever workflow you have that spits out a video URL that you want to post to TikTok. So here it's just a simple video that I created with AI. And by the way, I will post another tutorial soon on how to transform long form video, so maybe your Zoom recordings or your long YouTube video, to short form content and post it automatically using AI. So it will add captions, it will trim the video to get the best parts and so on. But anyways, in this case, this is the video that I want to post to TikTok, so that's why it's in this trigger right here. And after that, it will simply add a row to this Google Sheet that I have here. So in this row, it will add the video URL. And in my case, I also added this date column just to be more organized. And whenever a new row gets added to this Google Sheet, then this Zapier workflow will get triggered and it will get that video URL and upload it to Buffer so that it can post it to TikTok. And now I'm gonna run this so you can see exactly how it works. But first, I'm gonna explain the modules and what exactly is inside it. So first of all, this add a row module, it's very simple. You just connect your Google account, connect your actual spreadsheet, and then in the values that you want to add as a new row, I simply added the dates and the actual video URL that I got from this Google Drive module right here. And yeah, that just adds a new row to this Google Sheet right here. And then in the Zapier workflow that I have, I just added this step that triggers whenever a new row gets added to this specific Google Sheet. So first, um, of course, you connect your Google account to it. Then in the event, choose new or updated spreadsheet row. Then in the configure tab, you just have to select your spreadsheet name. In my case, it's called send videos from Make to Zapier for TikTok posting. And then in the worksheet, just select the worksheet name you have. And in the trigger column, set it as any column. In this case, it's showing null, but I selected any column. And then here in the buffer step is where the actual magic happens. So first of all, you have to create your buffer account, which is very simple. And then connect your actual TikTok account to it. And once you've done that, then you can connect your Buffer account to Zapier. In the event section, you need to select Add to Queue. And in your account, just select Buffer. Then in the Configure section, um, you just choose your default organization. In my case, it's called My Organization. And here you have to select the channel in which you want to post to. In this case, it's My TikTok account, so that's why it's right here. And then in the text, you can put whatever you want to, um, to your post. And then here in the Video section is where you want to put in the actual column that it fetched from this Google Sheet. Um, so in my case, it was called video URL. And as you can see, the video URL is right here from a past test that I did. And then in the method step, just set it to schedule and schedule it to post it within a minute. And for the method part, you can also set it to post it instantly. But in my case, it didn't work. And I think it's because whenever you upload a video to the buffer servers, it, it takes a while to upload the video. So that's why I like to give it a minute. And yeah, without more yapping, um, let's just test this real quick. So here in the make.com workflow, I'm going to click on run once. And as you can see, it just added a new row to my Google Sheet. And then in the Zapier workflow, um, it's already on, so I'm guessing it already ran. And by the way, these two posts that I did were some tests, so we just ignore them. So yeah, I think it already loaded now, so I'm just gonna wait until it appears on the TikTok here. And yep, as you can see, the video is right here, six seconds ago, and everything is good, and the quality is amazing, so. So yeah, that was how to post to TikTok from make.com completely for free. You know, this workaround is a bit wonky, but the thing is that it works. And if you want access to this template and all of the other templates that I build in my YouTube content, as well as weekly calls where you can chat about projects, um, new tools, you can ask me things about make.com and so on, then I highly encourage you to join our community. And yeah, that would be it for this video. I hope it helped and see you soon.